nice. I think it's kind of funny. No, 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 no. Batman! Oh no, I talked over the scent noise. My favorite noise in this entire game. I think he makes it like two times. <laughs> yeah. When he talks to Zelda and right now. Put it, he put it that. back. After all the work he did, he just fucking put it back. Yeah. You know what, what was I gonna say? You know what, what I think is funny? Like, did the temple in like forty minutes, and then you got fifteen minutes in between that. What you just spent in one room? Listen. <laughs> it was funny. I got distracted by and my that, own thoughts. Not saying it's bad. It's just yeah. funny. I oh, know. Don't take her stuff. You honestly mean to take an ancient and really power like this and turn it against me? This is dunk? You're a foolish turret then. Why do you defy your king? My king! You who do nothing but abuse the magic of your tribe? You must be joking. Oh, dare. How dare you? How dare. How are you implying that my power is our old magic? How dare. Not that! It's a joke! You're, you're <laughs> funny joke. Smash. This power is granted to me by my god. It is magic of the king of twilight and you will respect it. You pulled the card to your pink. No! Yes, he did. But my leg Thank hurt. You. Thank you. Bork. Thank you. Pop, pop. You got something stuck in your forehead? Yeah, it's that th that thing, that really uncomfortable looking thing. Yeah. Mm, lovely. How does it fit? Magic. <laughs> I don't know. My meat now. Did you forget? The correct answer. That's what she said. <laughs> that beast is one of the light dwellers that are oppressed our people. <laughs> Actually, the gods who did that, though. Yeah. No matter how much you desire otherwise, you will never be more than a shadow in the world. You cannot consort with that con consort. What are you implying? Midna, light and darkness will meet at last. To make our world, our tribe will take back the realm and sweep darkness, will blot out the harsh sky. Midna, don't make that face, it looks awful. And that Midna is why. I need And it's so obvious now that he cut his own fucking mouth open. Yeah. Oh my god. Not just for me, but for all our people. Lend me your power. You, your grubs. Bad man. No, 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 no. So be it. I'll return you to the light world you covet. Rude. Do, 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 do. Spy with my eye, a sheep is in <laughs> This is rude. I spy with my eye, a, a, a Ganondorf boy toy. <laughs> <laughs> he is the god, though, and that's why Sand has the like Gerudo thing. Everyone's like, well, this proves that the Gerudo are tied to the Twilight. No, it doesn't. It, it confirms that Sand is. Yeah. But we already knew that. I wanna go to the room behind there. Yeah, we're going there. Stop the, bo bo the Bork is gone? Okay, I guess we're not going there right now. <laughs> no. You're a Bork now. I'm a Bork now! You can't really abuse your Kuksha <laughs> and Kuksha. Like the, 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 the rudest thing? The fucking rudest ass fucking thing? Yeah. Is that he just used to like Nairu against Midnight and I had no intention of doing anything like that. So he just picked up Lanairu's corpse and went to like kill him. So. Yeah. And then negative impact. Hero chosen by the goddesses. Goddess? Yes. Go it, to the princess. Not the way I, I, w I would agree, but technically Helio chose him. Technically, this is a remake and they could have changed it, so fuck off! 
No, it's just that <laughs> he, he only a little ritual. Okay, you will be reborn, and I will be reborn with you. And then Faro went. Well, okay, I guess I choose him as well. <laughs> so technically, their <laughs> goddesses chose him. So two of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your choice is good enough. I will let you have the have the boy. <laughs> but this is this is okay. Oh, uh, no, we're going here. Uh, why? 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 Uh, to Silva? Yeah, back. You were going the correct way that way. Okay. Because this is mirror. Uh, 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 yeah. Anyway, it's like it's super complicated. Like Helia was always was created by the goddesses to protect goodness, and she's sort of embodies wisdom I, I guess in the end and then Zelda who is like the, the Helios of fucking flesh and blood in a sense but sort of forgets that she is of godly nature becomes chosen by Nairu and then you just have like f f I guess like Din going uh okay I pick that one yeah <laughs> I think what bothers me most about the Skyward Sword is like Zelda predicted all of it. Yeah. Or Helia predicted all of it. And like, I need to make all these temples so my, my the hero is ready to fight the demise. Because that's gonna happen anyway. Yeah. I mean, I could just give this Triforce to a human and ask them to f kill the demise. But no, I'm gonna train Link. The whole thing is super convoluted and when you add Skyward Sword's story. Yeah, and the story in it is dumb and has 10,000 plot holes. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just, it's kind of ruined like most of Zelda's character for me. Yeah, you can same. still take her seriously in, her, in these Day other bar. games because she's, oh yeah, because she's not, she's not a, like, she's not the goddess here. Yeah. She might be related to that Zelda who awakened and become the god became the goddess, but she's not that Zelda. She's not Helia. Helia has been forgotten and remains only knowledge as the name of a lake. And I'm satisfied with that. And mountain now. The, uh, mountain, right? That's but that's Breath of the Wild. That's we don't know when when that is. That's true. I mean, Stuff on it. in the picture, the master's sword is like rusted, so I'm guessing it will be late. Yeah. I mean, go into the bar. <sighs> this is all wrong, but she'll shut me out. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then um, beast, beast, get out. I'm a boy, I mean, I'll be rude. You there. You, Bork. You're a link ah, correct? <laughs> hey, Bork. I love that name now. <laughs> yes, I thought so. <laughs> I'm Louise. Do you remember meeting me in the shop before? Though I don't think we were proper properly introduced. In any case, I must tell you I'm a bit puzzled as to why you look like that. Really, there, you can't blame the human for tossing you out the way you look. Bork? Oh, another patient? <laughs> should, I, oh, should I move it? Like yeah, this? yeah. Keep it up to my face forever. I need to sit somewhere else. A little bit. Good. Good. Good stuff, Steven. Ow. <laughs> no. Give us a second, Mr. Yeah, man. Mr. Microphone and people. You can cut this now. Please, no. Please cut it. No. Oh. I don't care. Like, yeah, no. I just, it's fine. Do whatever. This is gonna be weird. All right. Oh no. What is it standing on? I don't know. A, a bottle cap. Thanks. Thanks. So. Thanks. So. Perfect. Princess Zelda. This is weird. It's too far back. <laughs> what I'm used to. 
He's a witch. Here, through the window, the attic is connected to castle's water. Oh, I was too fast. Yes. Okay, castle waterways! Push the block. It's not black. Push the crate. <laughs> Work link is really bad at pushing. Get on. Timing with Get the on. animation was a bit off. Yeah. Yeah. I need to read more of them, bo them books. What books? Or read them again. The the books on my shelf, the Murakami books. All right. It's been a long time. I'm I rem I, I I thought about it a few days ago that I really wanted to read my favorite one of them again. Yeah, man. Which I don't remember the, the title of anymore. Oh shit. I think it's uh, Hard Boiled Wonderland and the End of the World. That might, that might be, yeah. Because the two books in one. Oh, man. Like, it's, it's kind of fun, funny. I, uh, are you planning on reading it ever? Not really. Okay. Spoiler for people who haven't read it and want to read it or probably don't know what it is. Anyway. It's a book! The b yeah. <laughs> I think th that now that it's a book, just you know, dude. Who, who? I mean, people watching maybe like f fourteen, and then you have Brian. But okay, when did you start reading Murakami again? Like fifteen, sixteen, okay, like. In the in in the fucking end, it doesn't even yeah. matter. It doesn't matter, but but it's it's the, in the book. There's like, I think it's forty chapters, and every yeah. other is the the two stories, and oh. for for each chapter you switch between the stories. Yeah. And in the end of the first story, which is like this sci-fi world. Yeah, man. I don't remember the exact thing, but something happens, and that main character turns into the character in the other story, which in the beginning sort of ha has this amnesia. Okay, yeah, thing. I'm sure it works out when you read it. And and by the end of the second story, he that character finds out, that is, is, regains his memory, and know about the first story again, and. I, I don't remember how it ended, but it's like this weird way of telling it because it's two different stories. One is a sci-fi world, the other one seems like a weird fantasy world. And by the end you figure out, oh, it's the same story. Hey man. It's very weird. Very weird. That's good, that sounds like surrealism. Surrealism yeah. is amazing though. And I really, you, you know, I like alternate ways of telling stories. Yeah. I like to switch on different ways of telling stories. You have like uh, Zelda who tells one really straightforward story and then you have things that are implied that you have to think about. And then you have Mario, which is only straightforward. Yeah. And, uh, and Pokemon, which is also only really straightforward. I think it never was... It I <laughs> can't run. I wanna run with the stick! <laughs> <laughs> Take remember, care of the bats first. I remember uh, another book by Murakami. was uh, told over one night from like 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. or something. Yeah. Like the, the night. Yeah. And like all the different characters. And all of them had different ways. All of the characters if let's say it's five characters yeah and depending on which character the focus was on it was a different way of telling the story yeah like I believe there was one lady in a coma that part I, I find kind of boring because and then it was uh, in a cafe where it was mostly dialogue yeah and there was a guy exploring the town and uh, what am I missing shit uh, no! What the fuck? Uh, there should be one here. That way. That's the cobweb. Oh. What? And the stick. Oh, Thanks, Sherlock. And all I did like a 
paprika is, has really, 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 really cool storytelling because it's layered. It's super layered. It's like you watch it the first time and you get this part of the story and you watch it the next time you get this part of the story and things that didn't make sense you suddenly catch up on oh okay that explains that part in this part and then you can also listen to other people's perspective on things and then you, it just unlocks more and there are people who have watched this movie like s over 10 times and they're still finding new stuff in it because it's super like it, I feel like the word deep is abused in most situations, but paprika is deep. It goes really deep into like like dream psychology and identity and stuff like that. And it's okay, that worked. And I think that just it makes it interesting. I think when it comes to movies, a lot of stuff like that is lost on me. Yes. I, I know it's wrong of me, but sometimes I'm just just puts it in the category as artsy fartsy and just I'm done. <laughs> but you can, that's a skill. Like it's not something that you will always never be able to get this thing. You can't no, it's, learn I, it. I don't think it's not always that I don't get it. It's a lot of times it's that I don't care enough, and it's like. This movie's not entertaining me in the way I feel the movies should entertain me, so I don't really care as much anymore. Yeah, man, I just, and, I don't know. And I know I that I shouldn't be like that, but... Th because, what because, the fuck? <laughs> because of that, sometimes I won't like a movie just because it didn't entertain me like other movies have done. Yeah, man, I just add, like, movies and games, and mo movies, games, uh, books, comics are all... Why did I use this word? Are all platforms for storytelling for me. And all these different ways of telling stories are super interesting. And the way that people use. Bye. Oh, okay, fine. I was fucking locked on to him. No. Mm. Whatever. Just, just, just like. Well, for me. Yeah. I mean, yeah. For me, like. I think it's the same with games as well. It doesn't always, for me, it doesn't always have to be about telling a really cool story, but it more like something entertaining to watch. Sometimes I would really care about the story. Really. I, I enjoyed Last of Us. Yeah. But usually I don't enjoy games that only wants to tell a story. Yeah. For me, uh, the gameplay is an important part of it. And I'm not saying gameplay isn't. No, no, no. But there's a lot of people with different opinions on the matter. Like, some people would say that story of the game is the most important part. Uh, which I, I would disagree with. Me too. Like, I, okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, here, here's the thing for me gameplay is super important. But gameplay is a challenge for a story. Yeah. Not always. You can have stupid games, then, or just games, and then. Adapt screen. Eh, it doesn't have to have a complicated story to be a fun thing. That's what I'm saying. With gameplay is the super most important part of the thing. I play Mario for the story. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Absolutely not. Play Mario for the fun, interesting character designs and the fun, interesting gameplay mechanics. I play Sonic for a story. Oh shit! Fuck no. Wouldn't even play Kingdom Hearts for a story, and that's all that it's got. It has some <laughs> gameplay, but it's mostly just a not very interesting story. At least the first one. I like yeah. the second one more. Yeah, like, I don't know. It just gets... Like, I talked to you about this for so and many it, times. And it was I'm easier sure to, don't hear and it it's also easier to get invested in those games as when you're younger. Like, I, if I was playing Kingdom Hearts 1 for the first time now, I would not like it as much. Oh my God. I mean, like, the part where I played with you now I don't like that as much as I did when I was younger but I would <laughs> I would still consider the second game as uh, very good the first game is like mm, I don't want to the, the, the timing device on the floor <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it's not for me it's very much not for me it's super convoluted and the characters aren't easily to sympathize with and I I think we've said, I said this multiple times and while we were 
Fortnite games, like, what is the plot of the game? Everyone has their own theory. Yeah. Yeah, and that's where it loses me, and I lose interest. Mm. Sort what, of. what I think one thing is that the game is open, like, yeah. and you can interpret things. Another thing is it's so convoluted that people think, can't agree. I think well, for me, it was f it was fun with all Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts characters and just running around and hitting hearts and collecting stuff. And yeah, man. But the story in itself, I didn't really care about the first time. Like. I was really annoyed at the start of the game because there were no Disney characters, which was what I was promised. Yeah. Where are the Disney's? Like, okay, wait, let's not bring up that one when we're talking about. Like, um, what's interesting about stories in games is that the, you have to do a story and storytelling so differently in a game. You can't do a movie story in a game. It doesn't... People will not be involved in the story most of the time if you are not experiencing the story outside cutscenes as well. Yeah. I, I know we're talking about a game that's um, literally just story in a cutscene right now, but... Yeah. This is hard for people to get into, especially the level that we are into it. Yeah. And it's understandable, because you get to do fun stuff and then you get to sit around and read text. Wow, yeah. nice. So, I really like the games, but uh, for Ace Attorney, yeah. most of the time I can only do one case at a time. Yeah. Because I get really invested in one case, and then it's done, and now you gotta have a new case, and it's like, oh, but I gotta start all over again. I don't <laughs> care. Well, at least they don't give you tutorial each time. <laughs> it's true. I wanna play that one, you think? Yeah, well, yeah, I wanna play it too. I wanna, I think the gameplay and the way that story is incorporated in that is also interesting. It's. I mean, it's. I, I played the first three games. Yeah. And that's it. I played some of the Polo Justice, but. Yeah, man. Yeah. It was I, just I, different, so I didn't really get into it as. I did with the um, second and third game of the, the Phoenix Wright. Trilogy. I'm sure people are super annoyed that we are just talking over this cutscene over with, with, with stuff that's not even related. Uh, but no, that's fine. Whatever. We're, we're doing it the grump way. Mm -hmm. Shots fired. I uh, yeah. no, uh, Much whatever. respect to you, Grumps, if you ever hear oh this, which you probably so won't. Far. But much respect to you. Yeah, and this scene it doesn't come across very well, but what? Zelda is essentially doing is that she is sacrificing herself for Midnight. And she fades away. And she's kind of, unless they can guarantee that they can save like, yeah. the world, she's dead. Yeah. She's gone. Yeah. She's gone. And that's why Midnight is so super upset about this. She's like, stop her. No, she's dying. <laughs> so, Next time. Yeah. See you guys then. We're going to talk probably more about story and games. I have my own bar. Bubba, 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 bubba.